Hi guys, it's Chickle or Matt. So today is a video. I was kind of contemplating whether to make or not, because it's been a while since I've actually done this. So I'm just going to come out and say with it. If you read the title, you already know what the video is about. So I quit drinking about four months ago, about like four months and one week ago. In August 2017 is when I had my last beer or my last alcoholic drink. And so I know a lot of people in the past watched my beer reviews, I did some soldier reviews, I did some alcohol reviews. For St. Patrick's Day, I drank a shot of whiskey and I said, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, I had, there's no problem, it just, I, I just decided that uh, I was going to try and go sober for a while. So in the future, I will probably go back to drinking alcohol, but you know, I'm getting older, I have a family, I have a daughter, you gotta kind of drink less and think about, worry about money and stuff like that, but I noticed a few people have been saying, oh, where is your beer reviews, where is your alcohol reviews, you gonna try this beer, try that alcohol, try this, you know, spirit, try this wine, you know, you're from Canada, can you get this ice wine, can you get this, can you get this? So I just wanted to, you know, I didn't want to make a big scene or anything like that, I contemplated making this video actually like two or three months ago, you know, after one month, you know, one month sober or two months sober, but now it's four plus months, so yeah, it's been over four months that I haven't drank an alcoholic drink, so my alcohol videos have completely died, and again, it's not because there was a problem or anything like that, it was just because actually about four, no, four months ago, I moved to a new city with my wife and daughter, so we moved to a new city, which is a new experience and we're getting the layout for the area and like alcohol laws in Canada are kind of really hard compared to like when I was living in Korea even before I moved to Korea when I was in university and stuff like that you know in Canada you have you go to where I live there's like alcohol stores you have to go to an alcohol store buy alcohol put it in your car or in your backpack go straight home and then at home you can drink it or if you go to a bar, you can drink alcohol in the bar, you can drink alcohol in designated areas. But if you go outside of that designated area with an open alcohol container, you can actually get arrested. In Korea, you could like go to a convenience store like a 7-Eleven or a GS25, go in the store, buy the beer, open the beer out in front of the cashier and drink it. Some places would be like, oh no, 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 don't drink in here, don't drink in here. Because you were, if you were a foreigner, but if you went to some places and you were friends with like the cashiers and stuff, you could basically go into a store, buy a beer and a cup of ramen, sit in the store, drink your beer and eat your ramen, no one bats an eye, maybe someone will say, oh, uh, he shouldn't be drinking in here, and then he'll be like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He's, he's regular, he's not like, just coming here once and he's going to cause a problem, he comes here all the time. But in Canada, you can't actually do that where I live. You can't go into like a 7-Eleven or like a co-op, I'd say convenience store, you know, and buy a beer. You can't buy them at the convenience stores. And if you, say if you brought in a beer yourself and you opened it, you'd probably get the cops wound on you and maybe go to jail or like at least like the cashier, the register, you'd be like, get out of here, man, we're not doing none of this. And you'd go outside and then someone would actually see you drink the alcohol and you'd probably get charged or some crazy stuff would happen to you. So the alcohol laws in Canada are really harder and I don't know about this but I think the prices in Canada are a little bit steeper compared to Korea. In Korea you could get average beer and a little bit better than average German beers actually and some European beers for cheaper than you can get in Canada. You could buy beers in Korea for like each on one and here they'll be like four dollars in that five dollar area so each on one would be about three dollars. But in Canada, they're 4 or $5, so there's a money issue. It costs a lot of money to get beers in Canada, especially the good ones. You get a real good beer, a 347 milliliter bottle or can can run you back like $5. In Korea, you'd get the big tall 500 milliliters for like, again, $2.50 converted Canadian. Same style, same quality, everything. You could actually get Canadian beers cheaper in Korea than you can get in Canada. So actually price might actually be one, you know, moving to a new town, 
So you know all the stuff, all the new laws. And another one, it's kind of like a motivational thing. It's like, can I go one month? Can I go two months? And then after like that two month point, you're like, oh, three months is not that hard. Four months, like four months is, is that. And then when you get to like, right now, it's like, you don't, I've never even craved a beer. I've never craved any alcohol, anything like that. It's, I know some people, when they talk about this, they say like, go oh, cold turkey, they do this. They can't. And now I know there is a population that has a alcoholic problem and they can't just stop like this. But again, for me, I just stopped like, just out of nowhere, like October, none, September, none, August 31st, you know, just maybe drink one beer and then the next day, cold turkey. I just quit cold turkey, never craved a beer, never even went to like a beer shop and I like, just like thought about buying a beer. Actually, like games, like playing video games, going to the park with your family, doing outdoor activities, having a job. Actually, you don't even really think about alcohol until someone actually comments like, oh, did you try this new beer? Is this beer available in your province? And then I actually thought about it and then I was like, maybe I should make a video and like, you know, link this video to their comments because I do get a few comments every once in a while. I have maybe 10 plus videos where I drink beer or I drink like again, like soldier or whiskey. So yeah, it's been over four months since I stopped drinking beer. I actually wanted to make this video again for like New Year's resolutions too. If you want to make a New Year's resolution, that's great. If you try and stick to it, you can do it. You can do it. All it takes is willpower and maybe you have to make some changes to your schedule or maybe if some friends don't want to do with it, you might have to make new friends, you might have to change some things around. But if you have the willpower, you can do it. So basically that's all my video tonight was, was just like I just quit drinking alcohol, there was, there was no problems, like there was no nothing, like nothing to be worried about. I just like decided, you know, September, moving to a new city, better stop back on the alcohol for a while, you know, get into this, and then I got a new job, and then I started getting into video games, I started doing other things, so like there's just no time. So there's no problem, and thank you guys for watching this video. In the future, again, I might probably drink alcohol, not as crazy as I was before, maybe six months later, maybe two months later, maybe we don't know. If like the time arises and like you know the thing and I want to do it, I will drink like a beer or two. I'm not, I'm not shy about it. Like I'm, I don't hate alcohol. But if I go somewhere and they're like trying to force me to drink beer, I'm not gonna drink a beer. I've been in many multiple places and like multiple situations where like oh just have beer. Nah, I don't want one. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want a beer like that. So basically, it was just my decision. There's no problem. So thank you guys for being concerned. I hope you guys like this video. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Do you have any New Year's resolutions or is there anything you stopped doing this year or started doing? I'd really like to know that. You know, exercising, getting strong, studying more, reading more, getting back into school, graduating. I'm really interested in what you guys have done this year and are planning to do next year. So please leave a comment down below. If you want to watch more videos, you can watch over there or down there. If you want to subscribe for more, please click here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.